the next time we're here with um, third movement wanted to bring a um, video to you guys um want to talk about um the name of god <laughs> um a lot of times um people don't know uh, people want to know what is the name of god or how do we call god uh, and when we when we're when we're praying to god how do we address him do we address him as god or, or what is the way to address this god um, there, there's many names um, for God. God, God is known in, in, in many ways in the scriptures. Um, the I Am, Jehovah. Um, you said Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi. Different forms of um, Jehovah. Um, and in and, 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 and Revelation, he's the um, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. But the one that's more important for us to call him is not God. It's Father. We, let's go into the scriptures. We're going to um, Matthew um, 6 and um, verse 9. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 9. It says, After this manner, therefore pray ye, Our Father, which are in heaven, holy be thy name. Our Father. Some people even put it together and say, Holy Father. That's, that's, that's beautiful. Our Father, Holy Father. Um... And to give a better understanding of that, and if you really notice, Jesus always called him Father, Father, Father. But to give him a better, to get a better understanding of why we should call him Father, let's go ahead and go into um, Galatians chapter four. We're in Galatians chapter four and, and, and five. It says, actually, let's let's go up to um, four. Let's go up to verse four. Um, uh, Galatians four and four. But when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son, made of woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we may bite, that we may might receive the adoption of the son, and be ye the sons, God hath sent the spirit of his son into the hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So now we are no longer away from God. We are back to his sons by being in Christ, by having his spirit, the Holy Spirit in us, we are now to cry out, Abba, Father. We are to cry out, Father. He's our Father. He's no longer God. He's no longer I am. He's Father. Jesus did that. Jesus came so we can be, be able to call him Father, so we can get back to that relationship of Father the Son, of Father the Daughter. So when we talk about what we call God, let's call him Father. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you don't know God as Father. You know him as God. That's cool to know him as God, but know him as Father is what you want to know. You have to believe in Jesus Christ. You have to call on his name and say with your heart, say with your mouth, I believe. And believe in your heart and you are saved. Get baptized. Get under the spirit. Get under a good pastor. If, 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 if you wanna, if you wanna submit unto the um, third movement, leave, you, there's many ways. Just see down below the the, the reach me and everything, and, and we can grow you up, man. It's about um, discipleship, taking you from me, milk to meat. This our um, third movement. I hope I helped you. May Jesus peace be with you. God bless.